hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be testing out a new platform i well it's not a new platform but a platform i've been using for almost two years now and it's called crisp it's a noise cancelling platform that helps you to actually remove the background noises inside of your um, calls your recordings whatever you're doing on your devices or even when you're recording externally now for many people um, that are like full professionals you might have expensive audio equipment or you might have things that help you remove noise from your recordings or perhaps when you're editing your videos you actually take the time to ed edit your audio for for the average person sometimes you especially when you're on zoom or on skype you want to be able to remove all of the background noise that is going on and just focus on your voice only now i noticed that there are some apps that nowadays like kind of do some level of noise cancelling but this is what i've been using for about two years now and i absolutely love it so i wanted to show you guys because it's just amazing so this is their website and you can actually sign up for a free plan and to show you like a real life practice i'm going to show you different kinds of audio that i'm going to test out today so that you see what i'm talking about hey guys okay so right now i have my neighbor carrying out their lawn they're kind of cutting their lawn so i wanted you guys to hear what the level of noise is at the moment and um, see what i'm talking about so this is the amount of noise that is in the background right now and i think this will be perfect because i just finished my zoom meeting with my team and i was asking them if they could hear this noise and they said they couldn't hear anything so this sounds like without crisp i'm recording it straight off my phone as well as on my laptop i'm going to compare the two sounds to see how much each device can pick up and then i'm going to record um what it sounds like when i turn on crisp all right okay so this is me recording without and um, with crisp turned on as you can see on my screen you can see that crisp is turned on and then this is what it sounds like when crisp is turned on so the, the noise is still going out in my background but now i have turned on crisp and you can see the difference in the sound quality or well, not the quality in the noise removal quality so yes there are lots of um software that can remove sound after you finish recording but imagine if you could just have this on the go when you're doing live webinars trainings workshop you're recording new videos for your clients so that when that when that foul when you if you live in caribbean right there it's always uh, i don't know a hand growing somewhere you don't have to worry about it so let's get on with the rest of the video so i'm going to show you the difference in audio from when you use crisp and when you do not use crisp so right now you're listening to an audio the audio you're listening to is coming from my mic but it is passed through crisp so crisp crisp is currently removing the audio from the file so what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to change what the audio um file where it's coming from i'm going to turn off crisp and i'm going to show you the audio direct from the mic i'm going to show you from the macbook that i'm using because my macbook audio is actually pretty good and then finally i'm going to show you what the audio sounds like from my phone so sometimes if we're and if we're lucky we might actually hear something pass in the background because this is the caribbean all right so this is the normal audio and i'm going to switch to the other audio I've now switched from the audio coming from my mic and I'm using the audio from my um, laptop directly but still pass through crisp and then I'm going to record what the raw mic audio sounds like and, uh, and what the MacBook audio sounds like. Okay, so I'm going to record with just the mic. This is the mic alone without the crisp attached to it. I want to see if it will it will still pick up the sound from my macbook although suddenly my macbook is not so loud anymore it will still pick up the sound from my macbook or it will not so i'm very curious because i feel like um it will reduce the sound like it will be much better than my macbook raw but it will also still have some background noise which i guess can be removed by um whatever video editing software i'm using at the time so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to play this without the audio removed and then with the background noise removed okay this is my macbook phone 
recording straight directly from my macbook there's no crisp there's nothing this is just my macbook listening to me from this distance my macbook is right in front of me here and this is what it sounds like okay so now i'm recording into my phone you can see my phone in my hand and it's really close to my mouth and i'm trying to record exactly what i'm saying i'm going to move the mac a phone farther away so that we can see if it can still pick up the noise i'm just using like a normal voice recording here and then i'm going to bring it back and let's see how this sounds like okay so i'm finishing out this video using the q9 through crisp because i feel like it gives it that richness because it, to me when i listen back to the audio when i remove the background noise manually from my ed editing software i I kind of lose some of the richness of the audio and it starts sounding a little nasal. Um, but when it passes through crisp, I like the quality of the audio. The only complaint I have for this mic through crisp is that it kind of lowers the volume. And I don't know if that has to do with like where my mouth is facing when I'm recording um, the videos. But I'm going to see what I can do to improve that. So I think it will be much easier for me to just increase the volume of the audio inside of the software rather than increasing the um, quality of the audio because I'm not really good at audio editing at the moment and it will take much work, more work for me to edit the audio quality than to just edit the um, loudness or the volume of the audio. So that's it. I highly recommend Crisp, especially if you live in places that are noisy. We are currently building right here and I've actually recorded with Crisp in the middle of heavy downpour caribbean things so if you're struggling with lots of noises if you live in places with plants um, like generators or cars passing or loud music is very very helpful and they have a free plan that you can sign up for and if you feel like you need more than the free plan offers then you want to switch to the paid plan so that's it for this video guys don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one